Hi, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. This is a beginner Pilates class for core workouts. So we're going to work the area in the core, which is the area from underneath the ribcage to around the pelvis area. So the core consists of muscles of, yes, the abdominals, but also the deep back muscles, as well as the hip flexors. So let's go ahead and start the class. We're gonna start sitting. Let's face the front of my mat, of your mat. So this is the front of my mat. We're gonna start with the feet parallel positioned, sitting up, sitting up nice and tall, perching on your sitting bone here. So we wanna create a nice long flat back here. So inhale through the nose, arms underneath your thighs. As we exhale, we're going to draw in the abdominal muscle and that will take your spine into flexion, meaning a round back positioned. Then as we inhale, we lift the spine upright. Again, we exhale, we draw and pull up the lower abs, the middle abs, and pull the abdominal muscle in towards your lower spine, bringing your trunk to fall forward. And inhale, we come upright. Again, exhale. Keeping the neck nice and long, your gaze will be towards the floor here. Inhale, we lift. Again, exhale. And inhale, we lift. Let's do one more time, exhale. And inhale, we lift. Now we're going to add more. We exhale, we round the back, and then we're gonna curl the pelvis underneath you and bring your sacrum and your lumbar spine towards the floor, straightening the arms here. Inhale, we stay. Exhale, deepen the abdominal connection as we pull yourself up to that C curve position, and then we'll lift the spine. Two more times, exhale. Then we roll back. We straighten the arm in breath. Exhale. We sink the abdominal muscle into the floor and we bring the body forward and we'll lift. One more time. Exhale. We roll back. In breath. Exhale. We sink the belly in and bring your body over the pelvis and we'll lift up. Okay, now interlacing the hands behind your head, keeping the spine nice and long here. I'd like you to lift the toes and lift the feet up, but dig your heels into the floor. So we call this a dorsiflexed feet position or ankle positioned. Leaning slightly into your hands as your elbows cup forward and reach out. Now keeping the spine long, we inhale as we lean back. So your gaze is slightly diagonally up towards the ceiling here. Exhale, upright. Inhale, draw in and hug the abdominal muscle in towards the spine. Exhale, come back. Inhale. So your back muscle is working here to keep your spine upright. Exhale. Inhale, your abdominal muscle is helping to support that trunk, that spine. Exhale. Inhale, we lean back. The hip flexors are working too. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. So basically, this is a hip flexors exercise. Exhale. Come back. Lower the feet. Take your arms, your hands underneath your thigh. And I'm going to move myself forward a little bit. And then breathe out again. I'm going to pull the belly in here. And then roll back. Take yourself all the way down to the floor. Arms long by the side. And bring your feet closer towards your bottom. Okay, now we need to stabilize the pelvis here. So I'd like you to draw in the abdominal muscle 
At the same time, have your lower spine supporting the belly too. So what I'm thinking here is like peanut butter sandwich, right? You have the top bread and bottom. Now I need to draw the two bread towards each other, hugging it tight and stabilizing the pelvis. Okay, as you do this exercise, so we breathe out, we pull in the center, we pull, lift one leg up to the tabletop, so this is my right leg. As we inhale, we lower down and keeping the pelvis stable. Exhale, so this is called the leg lifts. Exhale, hug the belly in tight, two more. So we want to refrain the pelvis from going into an anterior tilt, or L or a posterior tilt, arching the back and flattening the back. So keep it back in a neutral position. So your true pelvis positioned. Okay, let's change the other side. Breathe out, stabilize the pelvis, stabilize the lower spine and take the leg up to tabletop. We lower, inhale, exhale, in breath. So the movement comes from the hip socket the knee joint is constant, the angle of the knee joint is constant, so we're not flinging the leg up and down. It's not the knee movement, it's actually the hip movement. One more. Okay, take the left leg up, we stay up there. Now as we breathe out, we're going to change the legs. It's called the leg changes. And we breathe out. And... So this demands a little bit more deeper control in your core as you move the legs up and down. And exhale. Let's do two more sets. Last set. Both legs up and tabletop and we stay. Now, holding the legs up there, take your palms Press your palms against the thigh and allow the thighs to press against your hands on your palms. So as we breathe out, you push down with the hands. At the same time, you press up with your thighs and you, what you will feel is the whole abdominal muscle drawing in tightly, contracting. And release. So the TVA, the transverse abdominal muscles working Hard here to support the position and the exercise and release. Let's do two more times. Exhale. Make sure your shoulders are reaching away from your ears. And one more. Exhale. And release. Knees together, arms are to the T position. Okay, moving on to our spine, twist supine. Let's go to the right as we rotate from the waistline. Exhale, back to center. So we work in the obliques muscle here, which are on the side of the waistline. Inhale, keeping the legs together as we rotate. Exhale, we pull back. And to the left, inhale, legs together, shoulders stay down. Exhale. Control the movement. Exhale as you twist. And in breath. Exhale. Let's do one more each side. Inhale. And we exhale. Last one. We inhale. And we exhale. We lower one foot down. And in the second leg down, release the feet. Have your feet hip width distance apart, interlacing your hands underneath the back of your head. Okay, moving to our chest lift here. So your elbows may come off the floor a little bit here. So in breath, as we exhale, abdominal muscle sinking into the floor. Then we lengthen the spine down along the floor as we send the rib cage, the lower rib cage down to the pelvis and we lift the chest. Inhale, we stay. Exhale, coming down. Exhale, up again. Inhale, we stay. Exhale, coming down. Again. In breath. Exhale. Two 
two more times. So we're working the rectus abdominis here, the six pack muscle, taking your spine into flexion, which is a curve, a run back and back. One more time, exhale, in breath, and exhale, we go down. Now we're going to add rotation here for the obliques. So we exhale, stay, rotate from the waist to your right, inhale, middle, rotate to the left, inhale, middle, thinking the twist happened from the waistline as you rotate right and left, and rotate, in breath, and rotate, in breath. We rotate, in breath, in breath. One more each side. Last one. Come back center and release. Well done. All right, stretch your arm closer to me, overhead and the leg too, and then turn your body towards me. We're going to to do our side lift here. So we have both legs straight, bottom arm straight. Okay, now I'd like you to create a nice long spine, lifting the underneath obliques or waistline here. As we breathe out, we reach the legs up and we take it down. Again, we lift and down. We reach out, lengthen in the lower waist down, and return. Again, we lift, and return two more times. We lift, and return. Last one, and come back, come up onto your forearm. To our side bridge exercise. So we have the elbow and the shoulder in one alignment. Both legs are straight, top leg in front of the bottom. Press that foot down. All right, take the top arm by the side here, and I want you to lift up the waistline, the bottom waistline. As we breathe that, press the forearm down, press the feet, we lift our body. And lengthen down. We don't want to collapse down. Again, two more, we lift. And come on down. Again, we'll lift. Now we're going to do one more time to make it four. And we go down. Last one, we'll lift. And well done. Let's go to the other side. So we have the right arm, or this is my right arm, underneath me. Both legs are straight. Okay, proud chest, long spine, lifting the underneath waistline. We breathe by squeezing the legs together, scooping the belly, the abdominal muscle in as we lift. And down. Again, we'll lift. And down. And. And down. And lift. And two more. We'll lift. Last one. And lift. And we'll lift. Okay, come up onto your forearm again for the side bridge. Top foot forward in front of the bottom. Lift in the center. Top arm by the side. We breathe that. We lift the body. Reach up this top arm up to the ceiling. And we go down. And we'll lift up. And we go down. Two more. We'll lift up. And we go down. Last one. We'll lift. And we go down. Well done. Moving on to our quadruped position. Four point lean position, also known as heel of the palm, shoulder in one vertical alignment. Knee, center of your hips in one vertical alignment. So we're going to do our transverse abdominal engagement or squeeze in this position. Take an in-breath. So the feeling is the same. Uh, like you did the exercise before when you're pressing your hands against your thighs and the thighs pressing up against your hands. So that drawing the abdominal. All right, so in-breath. Exhale, I want you to pull up the belly into the spine here. 
without taking your spine into flexion or rounding your back. So keeping the spine long, we're gonna pull in, lengthening the lower spine, and then let it go. Again, exhale, lifting up, lengthening the lower spine, and then let it go. And again, exhale, and in breath. One more, exhale, and let it go. Tuck the toes under. I like you to press the hands and press the toes down, then draw in that transverse abdominal muscle in and up and lift the heels off, sorry, not the heels, the knees off. And we're gonna stay in this modified plank position for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we still stay here, stretch your right leg back and I'm bringing it in. Stretch your left leg back for modified front support. Exhale and and out and two more sets and and out. Last set. Last one and back. Lower the knees, relax the ankles, hold the position there. I'd like you to stabilize the trunk again. Take the right arm forward, stretch it up, stretch the left leg, the left leg behind you. Now hold the center, we lift the arm and the leg, and we lower. Now drawing the center in, so as you lift the leg, I don't want you to hang down in the lower spine, but I like you to keep that lower spine nice and long and stable as you lift the leg. And we go down, three more. So you probably have about 10 to maximum 20 degree into the hip extension. One more, we'll lift. And we take them back in. Let's go to the other side. Left arm forward, right leg behind you. Drawing the transverse abdominal muscle up, we lift the arm and the leg. And down, and up, and down, and up. Gaze are still, or gaze is still down to the floor. Neck is long. Exhale. Two more. Last one, okay, and take the arm and the leg in. Now onto our cat stretch, we breathe up. This time we're going to pull the belly in, then take your spine into a flexion, a round back position. Lengthening the spine and then glide the shoulder blades as you inhale and take your upper back, middle and upper back into an extension position, arching. Exhale, we round. And then back to that long spine. And an inhale, upper back. And center. And exhale. Into a long neutral spine. Glide the shoulder bullets into an upper back arch for extension. And center two more times. Exhale, we round. Long back, inhale, extend. Long back, last one. Exhale, and flat back, inhale, arch. And flat back. Send the pelvis down to the heel, sit down. Arms stretch further forward for a rest position. Just stay here if, as you inhale, as you exhale. Let's do one more time. Inhale and exhale. And let's go ahead and roll the spine up, sitting up nice and tall. And you are done for the day. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you in my other class. I wish you a lovely day.